Hello everyone, this is Ali Nasser. In this video, I am going through the Abacus interface. The lecture number two, you can watch the previous lecture in the link below the current video. My objective in this video is to show how to start Abacus and show Abacus interface. Let's start. After you finish uh, your software setup, you can open Abacus software from this icon Abacus key, uh, which means a provision of uh, computer edit engineers. Uh, just uh, right click and uh, select run as an administrator to open um, the software. After you click, just wait a moment to uh, start. Here is the interface of program after opening. Uh, we have here a, a start session to create model database like this. Create model database. Uh, actually, I have only two database uh, for finite elements analysis and electromagnetic model. I didn't uh, set up uh, CFD analysis. So in our tutorials, we will focus on uh, FE analysis only. Uh, you can here create uh, finite elements analysis or uh, electromagnetic analysis. Uh, at database, you can open uh, the previous model. Uh, you can run uh, also from script uh, Python. Um, you can open uh, start tutorials uh, from website of uh, Abacus. And uh, here, recent files uh, you have created before. You can open and uh, just click, but I will uh, select these uh, options, create a FEA analysis with standard or explicit model, just uh, double, just a click, or a left click, and this is uh, mm, the interface of uh, software. Uh, actually, uh, Abacus um, divided in two uh, function units uh, called uh, modules here in this um, in this point, you can see the modules, uh, something like parties, property, and so on. Uh, each module uh, contains uh, tools uh, that are relevant to a specific portion of uh, modeling. As you see here, uh, if I just click on this arrow, the uh, modeling process moving between uh, models. This contains a bar here. A module model uh, step it's called um, contains part to retrieve uh, an existing uh, part uh, model like most of programs there is main menu here uh, file model uh, viewport and so on this is associated uh, with uh, module uh, if I uh, select property you can see the main menu has uh, changed to associated with uh, property module if select step module the main menu change it to um, module of a step and it so on. Let's start at part module. If I go to uh, file and from file select set work directory, I can find where the default location of uh, uh, Abacus software. Uh, by default, Abacus save it at window system 32. Uh, I can browse and change uh, the directory. Uh, let's go to C, create another folder, name it, it uh, Abacus. It's already available. Let's um, name it something called uh, like a laser. And select the folder you have created. Just press OK. Now uh, all files will save it at this location. If I just press OK, you can find uh, on the left side uh, here this three menu. You can find your model. This model will uh, save it at uh, the directory uh, location. Uh, also, uh, you can uh, go to uh, view from main menu uh, toolbars to show and hide uh, some options uh, appear there. Um, like this options um, viewport I hide the viewport options I can show it again these options and so on all options you can show and hide from these uh, toolbars add view 
um, also at tools you can uh, set uh, uh, with mouse keys from uh, options view manipulation here is uh, um, a keys of uh, mouse we can also select uh, this uh, command from here directly uh, on left side uh, we can found the uh, tree of uh, module or model here you can find part also from modules here uh, you can find material property assembly step and uh, all modules objects uh, you can uh, edit from here or from uh, this menu of uh, toolbox this uh, called toolbox area uh, area and uh, the area in middle uh, of uh, this screen it's called a uh, viewport or uh, environment area which means uh, your model uh, graphics uh, will appear here at uh, below you can find in this area um, you can find the properties uh, area which you display an instruction uh, for you to follow during a procedures model if i select uh, something like uh, create part i will find some uh, instructions fill out the create part dialog and so uh, below here we can find a uh, message area uh, at message area you um, you can see the replay of uh, answer of the software and uh, there is also a command line uh, interface in up here below, below to uh, message area you can see the kernel uh, command line interface um, this uh, command uh, can type a mathematical expression from uh, Bison uh, or by you, by your hand. And now let me give you uh, more details about modules. Uh, firstly, at part module, it is uh, for create individual uh, parts by sketching or importing uh, their uh, geometry. Uh, at uh, property, uh, this module for uh, create section and the material definition. Uh, to, as to assign uh, region of parties uh, materials by this module at module of assembly uh, this is for create and assembly part in instance uh, even uh, you have only one part you need uh, also to uh, put your part in uh, assembly and the next module is a step in step module you can create and define uh, analysis step uh, associated with uh, output uh, requested actually in uh, a step module uh, you can define the solution methods such as uh, dynamic or uh, statics or uh, thermal or any other uh, methods uh, let's suppose uh, if you want to uh, simulate a deep drawing uh, you have to define uh, three steps step one two three as you see here in this uh, figure these procedures uh, must uh, recorded in uh, set step module. Next step is interaction um, module. Interaction it is a specific interaction um, like uh, contact between regions or between surface. Uh, in fact, this is, uh, in interaction we determine the physical uh, contact between uh, parties. But if we have only one part, we, did, we didn't uh, have to uh, define interaction because it's uh, one part. Uh, next uh, module is called uh, load. Uh, at uh, load module, you can specify uh, load boundary condition and uh, pre-filled uh, mm, or, uh, or any uh, load conditions here in this module. Uh, next uh, module is mesh at mesh you can create and configure an optimization um, elements mesh for your finite elements you can create uh, seeds uh, you can select the type of uh, elements um, next step is optimization uh, this uh, in this um, module you can create and configure optimized task by the way, from BART, 
module to uh, optimization module this is called pre-processing uh, uh, section uh, which means a graphic user interface without coding you can do this with graphic uh, interface but at uh, next uh, step uh, next module uh, which you call the uh, job a job you can submit job for your analysis and monitor uh, its progress uh, in this step uh, we called this step processing which means we can uh, import the code file here in this step uh, next step is uh, visualization uh, you can um, show or view uh, your uh, analysis result and the selected model uh, data this is called this is a module step we called it at uh, post processing also we can uh, show a report of your result from here on the left side you can find the resu results uh, of database xy, da XY data plots and so on um, animation um, you can find all uh, recorded uh, results in result module and visualization final uh, model is a uh, sketch uh, it's for create uh, 2d uh, sketch also this uh, item available in uh, part module but it's separated here because if you want to just uh, create 2d you can go to uh, a sketch module directly and uh, this is uh, the everything in uh, abacus interface i hope this video is useful for you my regards alinosov